Hi guys, hope you are doing well and having a good time. My name is Gundeep and I welcome you all to my YouTube channel, Canadian Dreams. Right now, this video is on Canada election 2019. As you all know, it's in buzz these days. And recently, that is just yesterday, the results are out. So in this video, we are going to discuss about those results and the impact which is going to have on the immigration in Canada. So without further ado, let's start the video. Alright, let's start the video first with Canada election 2019 results. So the results are out. Liberals are born, but with minority. So what does that mean? This means that they have to depend on some other party to make a decision. That is, liberal immigration policies will continue, but they'll now need opposition's support. Though the CR has gone up and down, but for the last few years, uh, it has been really good for Express and new programs have been launched for new immigrants here in Canada and the support from government is really good. Canadian voters elected a minority Liberal government Monday night bringing an end to a 40-day election campaign that heard many promises on immigration but never saw it emerge as a top issue. The Liberals won 157 of Canada's 338 electoral districts but earned just 33.1% of the popular vote down from 39.5% in 2015. The Liberal minority led by Justin Trudeau will face an opposition led by the Conservative Party of Canada which won 121 seats and received 34.4% of the popular vote. So the NDP's Jagmeet Singh was with 24, the Green Party was with 3 and 1 independent candidate, the New People's Party of Canada which campaigned on a pledge to reduce the number of immigrants and admitted each year to Canada did not win a seat. But the New People's Party of Canada, they are really opposite to uh, immigrants and the immigration policies which are going on. It's basically like the Trump of Canada. The Liberals' minority status means they will now have to find common ground among their opponents in Parliament in order to pass legislation. However, given that all five parties represented in the House of Commons campaigned on essentially pro-immigration policies obtaining majority support for immigration policies may be possible. Now, one important thing to mention here is that Conservative leader Andrew refer to Liberals' immigration targets as reasonable during the election campaign. So it means that he might agree with all the uh, policies which Liberals have already for immigrants here in Canada. So guys, coming to the point, what effect it has on the express entry and the immigration policies. Thankfully, as the results are out, we can now say that the Liberals aren't expected to introduce major changes to Canada's express entry system, which was introduced by the Conservatives in 2015 to manage the pool of candidates for three of Canada's main economic immigration programs. That is a Federal Skilled Worker, Canadian Express Class and the Federal Skilled Trade Class. The points-based system issues eligible candidates a score based on their age, education level, skilled work experience, and proficiency in English or French, among the other factors, and a set of number of high-ranked candidates are invited to apply for the Canadian permanent resident through regular draws from express entry pool. This is the usual CRS draws which happen and this is how the express entry works. If you want to know about how to calculate CRS, here's the link and I'll put in the description down below. You can check it out. So to summarize guys, it has been called for the Liberals that they are going to form a government through a minority. Trudeau will continue as PM. Justin Trudeau and Ahmed Hussain both won their seats in their respective ridings. That puts to the rest of all speculations about how the elections will affect immigration and stop express entry and whatnot. So there were a lot of speculations from people that this election is going to have a big impact. But after Liberals have won, it doesn't look like there will be a big impact. But definitely they need support of opposition. So guys, this was a quick bit of information on Canada election 2019 and how it impacts the immigration. Uh, all the best if you are in pool right now. All the best if you are thinking to apply to Canada immigration. 
Thank you so much for watching this video. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, please do so. We keep on coming with a lot of interesting and informative videos about Canada and make sure you follow us on Instagram as well. Thanks again for watching this video. If you have a question, please put it in the comment section below and we'll get back to you. Thanks again. Have a good one. Bye-bye.